right, guys, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to tell you the tale of Mary Shaw. Beware of the stare of Mary Shaw. She had no children, only dolls. So her dolls were her children. If they said, if you see Mary Shaw in your dreams, do not ever scream. Because if you scream, she'll rip your tongue out at the scene. And apparently, the only way to beat the ghost of Mary Shaw is dead silence. But she had strange request. Apparently, the ghost of Mary Shaw requested that her dolls be buried as her children. It's the creepiest thing. And Mary Shaw is buried with her dolls because that's the only way she could pass in the afterlife. I guess she's still walking in the afterlife, so she'll come back. Her ghost will come back, because her dolls are buried with her. Apparently, there really is such a thing as Raven Fair. It's a real fair. It's in the U.S. somewhere. I don't know where. But... The ghost of Mary Shaw haunts that place. But if you disturb her dolls, that's not good. Because Mary Shaw was a very vengeful spirit. Now, they say if you see Mary Shaw in your dreams, just don't scream. The only way to beat Mary Shaw is dead silence. Because if she doesn't hear you scream, she has no reason to come to you. The only way to invite her is to scream. Don't ever scream because of Mary Shaw. Mary Shaw is a very vindictive, scary, vengeful spirit. Because apparently a boy in the audience knew that she was faking her vanquilogism. And he saw her lips move. And he went missing. So apparently she got her tongue ripped out. And that's why she takes vengeance on those who disturb her dolls or disturb her peace. Now, if you see the ghost of Mary Shaw, do not scream. Because she'll rip your tongue out at the scene if you scream with Mary Shaw. Mary Shaw is a ghost story and legend. It's, it's like um, Bloody Mary. She could be Bloody Mary.